Uh, right now, a flood warning is in effect for Frederick County as more rain continues to drench the region. This after an intense line of thunderstorms unloaded more than six inches of rain over Frederick County last night. This cell phone video captured flash flooding in the county after just two hours of downpours making roads dangerous to maneuver and even causing some drivers to become stranded. Today was all about cleaning up and trying to dry out. Powerful flooding nearly washed away Maryland Route 180. Meanwhile, crews also spent the day draining buildings flooded with water. WJZ is live. Bob Turk is tracking live Doppler radar. But first, Devin Bartolotta is live in Frederick with a closer look at the damage from yesterday's storm. Devin? Mary, we're right in front of the Monocacy River. That river crested around 8.15 this morning at just over 8 feet, but the rain has been coming down all day. Right now, raining pretty steadily, and rain is the last thing Frederick County needs right now. From a drone's eye view, the flooding in Frederick appears to have swallowed many parts of town. The sky opened up Tuesday night, dumping seven inches of rain in just two hours. Streets became rivers. Cars in parking lots floated away. Oh, there's a plants floating. Inches, even feet of water poured into homes and businesses. So we had two situations. We had urban storm drain systems that could not absorb all the water. Um, then we had um, some of our rural roads. Uh, have our bridges and our streams overflow and really wash out some roadways. First responders worked tirelessly through the night, fielding more than a thousand 911 or non emergency calls and rescuing nearly 60 people trapped in their cars by the rising waters. The YMCA is now pumping 10 feet of water from its basement. This was the water line right here. Board Chairman Steve that Hine estimates repairs night. could cost about $1 million. All the exercise rooms, all the locker rooms. All of the offices were, you know, had up to four inches of water in them. The price tag at Maryland 180 likely much higher. The well-traveled road was nearly washed away by a wall of water from the gushing Little Catoctin Creek. Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford visited as crews began cleanup. A creek or a stream that's normally just a little babbling brook, you know, turns into a raging uh, waves and it can roll back the asphalt. Flash floods with lasting impact as the damage totals just start to add up. Now much of Frederick County is still bracing for possibly even more flooding as the rain continues to come down. Another, another, another WJZ crew across town just told me that the road that they are on is starting to flood, something that everyone is keeping an eye on through yet another night of rain. Back to you. Okay, Devin, thank you.